The people control Independence Square now. There has been no let up in the protests, despite the dizzying pace of change of the last few days. A reminder that their objective has not yet been achieved, and of the many that have already paid the ultimate price. On Sunday morning, Parliament met in a week in which it had voted to remove the president, Viktor Yanukovych, and release a major opposition leader from jail. This time, it voted overwhelmingly to temporarily hand over the duties of the president to the speaker. So, meet Alexander Turchinov, the man Parliament now regards as the acting head of state. He says a new government will be set up. Parliament cannot substitute for the executive power. Parliament has its own tasks according to the constitution. So our priority now is to get the executive working again, to ensure that we move towards a national government by Tuesday. Let's agree the Coordination Council will start their work at 11 tomorrow. Parliament has also decided that Viktor Yanukovych's opulent residence should be handed over to the state. Mr Yanukovych rejects all this. He says the parliament doesn't have the right to remove him as president, and he still has the support of large numbers of Ukrainians, particularly in the east, and probably of Russia too. But his exact whereabouts are not known, even to the opposition. Millions of Ukrainians uh, want to know where is Yanukovych and try to find him. He disappeared. Uh, president of Ukraine disappeared. Uh, that's why we have to elect a new one. In less than a week, Ukraine has moved from its bloodiest day of unrest to peace deals with an embattled president to his disappearance from the capital. Activists have now replaced guards outside official buildings. Protesters celebrate in streets once held by riot police while the president's luxury retreat has been opened up to ordinary Ukrainians. One of his arch rivals is free from jail. After days of turbulence, everyone is praying for a peaceful end to this crisis. James Cocknell, BBC News.